Well, good evening. It's another time to have your comment and opinion from the social media. Welcome to Pullstream. I'm Edie Thompson. And I am Victor Mathias. Of course, Edie has been showing the world some of the pictures and the videos you've been sending in. Of course, your messages as well. Some of them have been coming in since in the morning. Of course, we've been seeing them and Edie has been showing them to the world. And now we're bringing a bigger package to the picture. Yes, we're going to have uh, a bigger package now, as Victor has said. Uh, but that's not to say we can collate all of your comments or tweets. We're just going to take as much as time would let us. We're going to start with the tweets. Um, we start with Omoyeni Oluwashiun's tweet um, that says that sorting of ballot paper for counting results in Lagos Island began at 5.20. That's at Ward E2. That's from Omoyeni Oluwashiun in Lagos. Well, on Facebook, we have um, Oloye De Ayod Deji saying that it was smooth and peaceful in Ward 19, Ijaoye Street, in Alagbado, Ifako, Ijaoye. All right, then we'll move over to uh, mails that you sent. The election has been concluded and counting is in progress. The election was very peaceful. Uh, though INEC officials came late at my polling station, the INEC officials came at about 11.08, but the voters conducted themselves most peacefully, and the card reader was used at the centers with very few uh, who could not verify, their, it could not be verified immediately. That's Ogomo, that's coming from Jude Mosu in Ogomo, and he sent it at about 6 p.m. And uh, this fascinating one is from Vince Jemmy Lulu, and he's saying he had a combined three hours of tracking to and fro his polling unit at former Rosebud Nursery Primary School, Adibayo area of Adorikiti. He says the accreditation started some minutes after 8 o'clock and the voting started 1.30 p.m. But the accreditation and voting process were highly successful. The card readers worked perfectly, he says, and he adds that the election went peaceful at his polling unit. He further notes that he came across a lot of polling units to and fro from his polling unit, and he observed the process was going on well in most of the polling units, except the polling unit where there was complaints about the card reader. But immediately the nylon covering that poll read, um, card reader was removed, he heard the card reader started functioning perfectly well. well you, you know, Victor, that has been a common trend uh, uh, like all since morning in some areas where they had issues with card readers, it was just um, removing the, the, the cover on the lens. Okay. And then most of the people, or most uh, or many, let me not say most, most. yeah, a lot of the polling units, yeah. once they got off the, the cover of the lens, they, the card reader was working real fine. But you know, INEC also sent a tweet where their handle at INEC Nigeria and they said there's nothing like um, the nylon. So, I mean, there's just so much confusion going on you know, about the nylon, the card reader, we mm -hmm. just don't even know which one to believe. Yeah, well, the good thing is that the, 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 there's a solution. Um, exactly. INEC has extended in areas where there were issues. Yeah. They're going to uh, continue voting tomorrow. So that's a good one. So a lot of people will not uh, have, have to be disenfranchised. And um, also, um, there's also the incident form. So even in some areas where you don't have the card readers and all that. So, I mean, thank God a lot of things are, have been taken into consideration. Absolutely. But the next one here comes and from Okera Ogba. And it says um, the INEC officials arrived at the venue at 10.30 a.m. and says people were already waiting. Manual accreditation started at 11 a.m. The card, he says, were not working until 3.30 p.m., rendering the manual accreditation we did in the morning useless. So accreditation using card readers started there about that time. And it says this is like 5.45 p.m. when he sent this mail. And accreditation is still going on. And we have no idea when the voting exercise will start. Yeah, I guess these are some of the people who are going to benefit from the extension, the extension yeah. of the voting for tomorrow. That's okay, right. so we go over to Ile Fair where Adeshe Go Fatusi sent his mail. He said that um, he voted in Ife by Aladonla polling units. The card reader worked seamlessly and all was very peaceful and the process was fast. At one point, I think I need to be, I, it needs to highlight more in the ongoing analysis the fact that even where the card reader had failed, the PVC approach in its own has significant potential for minimizing fraud. So that, that's what some people have doubts about the card reader. He is saying that even though the card reader is not working, well, from his experience, um, even uh, the fact that there's a PVC 
that also helps. Well, uh, we're going to take we're going to take a break now, and this break is we're going to show you some of the pictures you've been sending since morning. Okay. Some of them we brought to you before now. Some of them we haven't brought to you, but we're just going to show you some of the pictures and some of the happenings um, on this election day that you've been sending since morning. Please stay with us. Welcome back. You just saw those pictures. You guys have been the ones sending them. You guys have been keeping us quite busy and making the whole world see what is going on in Nigeria. Of course, Ine, you know, this is an unprecedented election in Nigeria and the whole world is watching Nigeria. And those pictures, those tweets, keep them coming. We enjoy them and we do appreciate them. Keep using our eyewitness platforms. But we're going to take a break from the eyewitness platforms and go now to the Google Plus Hangout. We have Olumu Iwamao, who is calling from Junidin in Switzerland, and Olu Olamide Agbayolo, who is here in Lagos, to get their perspective of what they feel about the elections so far. Olu Iwamao, thanks for coming on the program, and good evening. Can you hear me, Olu Iwamao? Hello. All right, if you can't hear me, I'm... Uh, Olamide, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Victor. All right, good evening, and thank you for coming to the program. Thank you for having so, me. What has been the general reaction? I mean, of course, you are here in Lagos, Nigeria, and you went out today, you saw some things. What can you tell us? Yeah, um, I think the turnout has been very impressive. Um, people are very excited. Um, here on my street, the polling unit on my street, um, 